good morning guys happy sunday well happy sunday for me because you guys are gonna be seeing this video on saturday and normally when i don't go to church i spend most of my day in the kitchen and today i'm making something that i have never made before and i know you guys saw the oxtail video so i'm gonna be making cold food with the regular rice and peas that we normally cook on sunday but the interesting part is the cold food because i've never made that before <coughs> please excuse me i'm recovering from the flu but i'm going to be making cold food today and at the end of the video hopefully i can introduce you to my puppy i got a new puppy and then i can give you guys like some more updates as it pertains to life overall as it pertains to my home and home renovation home furnishing all of that i can give you update and so stick around okay so let's get into the video i am going to be starting my cold food very early this morning because it's kind of tough that's what i've heard but we finally got a new pressure cooker funny story guys so we got a pressure cooker for our wedding gift however when we were putting it together we put the screw where it was not supposed to go and so because of that i'm kind of scared to use it because you know pressure cookers can be dangerous if they're not used properly or if they're it's they're kind of you know you know what i'm trying to say but yes we got a new pressure cooker this one is a bit bigger so this one is a bit bigger it's very big <laughs> yes but we got that and let me turn you all around um the house is kind of not in the best state right now because i'm sick <laughs> but you guys this is this is the meat that i seasoned last night this is the cow foot that i seasoned and i think i made a mistake don't judge me now i should have cut it up some more <laughs> so i have a few chunky pieces that i need to cut up and some of them still have fats on them so i need to fix this mistake so i'm going to fix this and then i'm going to come back on camera and what you're going to be seeing next is really me starting to cook the cow foot okay pray for me because i need it okay you guys so we are ready so i have my cow foot right here i can't man maneuver the camera too much because my my tripod is kind of charging <clears throat> but yes i cut it up i didn't do much cutting because i realized that this thing is tough man it's very very tough so there is not a lot of lot that there is not a lot that i can do because i'm not a butcher but yes this is our old pressure cooker by the way the one that i told you earlier that we spoiled i'm gonna Put this on the stove now. There's the lighter. Let me turn you guys so you can see a little bit of the action. Oh, this card is really the tripod, but I'm gonna put this on the stove now and then put a little bit of oil. So let's get it here. We're doing it guys, we're doing it. Let's wait until this kind of dry out a little bit. We are doing it, we are doing it, doing it. So I watched YouTube videos before I started this video because I don't want to shame myself. So what the gentleman did in the video is he, first he used a uh, a frying pot his regular pot that you cook meat in and he poured oil and then browned the meat but i'm going to be using one pot to do 
what he did so after he poured the oil and let the meat brown a little bit he poured everything into the pressure cooker and then add water but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the oil into the pressure cooker because I realized that his pressure cooker his you know those thin materials what do they call them I don't know but my pressure cooker has a harder base so I can still brown my meat in it and then what I can do is just add the water after I get a little browning and I don't need much because I added browning to my meat yes chef Chris in the kitchen all right so the water is still drying from when I washed the pot so I will see you guys when I'm adding everything okay okay you guys so my oil is ready let me get a fork my oil is ready so I'm just gonna drop them in gonna pop them in oh this finally came off So um, I'm gonna have this brown for a few minutes and maybe just, guys I turned on the um, follow thing on the Osmo so it's literally following me everywhere, well if I walk slow enough. Let me show you guys what she's looking like. So this is what she's looking like so far. The pieces are kind of chunky, I don't like that, but that's what we have so far. I'm gonna let this brown. And then when we come back, you guys will be seeing me put, what I did next again? Yeah, they added water after it started to dry out. Rolling, so there's not much that you do with it. I'm gonna add the water and then I'm gonna put on the pressure cooker cover. Then we can get started. Another hair. I know. I know which the other pressure cooker was working because I have peas to cook as well. So let me show you guys the amount of water. That I'm using. Show you guys. You guys will see when I do that. In the video that I watched, I saw that the gentleman put 25 minutes and then Of the video okay guys so now that I have the oxtail on the fire I'm gonna start my rice and peas All 
right there. <clears throat> and I smell so. So guys, I'm gonna check it off just to check how tender the meat is. Let's bring this. We need to bring it underneath the pipe. I smell weird like the water dry out. I am going to be adding my butter bean now, but I like to wash it first before I add it. Even though it's in a tin. I'm gonna wash it now. I'm doing a good job on this one and my peas is still over here boiling it's been about half an hour now <laughs> I'm glad you guys can hear it in my voice I'm tired Perspective. What is your perspective as a believer in Christ? I ask this question because at some point in your walk with the Lord, as you know him more and more, you have to shift your perspective from God take me here, take me over there, Two, Lord, I thank you for how far you've brought me. I thank you because I am no longer where I used to be. Perspective. Yes, every now and again, all of us ought to take a moment and remember. Remember all that God has done. Because it's easy to forget what God has done for us, especially when we face challenging times or become preoccupied with our daily routines. But do you know why it's important to look back? It's important because you will begin to see how faithful God has been time after time. You'll begin to see how God has watched over you and opened doors for you time after time. When we reflect on the significant events and moments in our lives, we can recognize how God has been with us every step of the way. This is emphasized in Psalm 77, verses 11 through 12, where the Bible reads, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. This verse reminds us that God's works in the past are worthy of our reflection and meditation. By focusing on God's faithfulness in the past, we can gain confidence in His promises for the future. As the Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 8.28, And we know for those that love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. 